All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. 54-year-old Clancy Adkins was shot and killed in broad daylight while inside of his home Saturday evening. Now police and Adkins' family are looking for answers. I just don't understand. I don't know. No. Pike County Coroner Russell Roberts said the shot that killed Adkins was fired through the glass of a storm door on Adkins' home on Coon Branch off Right Fork of Island Creek Road near Pikeville. Roberts said foul play was evident. The storm door had been uh, broken and shattered and... Uh, then after that, uh, a detective came in, and we started doing further investigation. And after the investigation and everything, uh, we determined that uh, possible a homicide. It was the entrance door that he was at, uh, as if he had opened the door for something or someone and had been shot through the door. Uh, transported uh, the victim down to Frankfurt to the medical examiner's office and after transferring him to the medical examiner's office we did find out that he had been shot and uh, by a perpetrator. Clancy Adkins had undergone treatment for leukemia over the past couple of years. His family wants to know why his life was taken in such a violent manner. Well my uncle that lives at the foot of the hill heard two gunshots. He told me they were like 30 seconds apart. He heard the first one and he thought he heard my door open and then he heard another one like 30 seconds later and he ho heard somebody holler out, oh God. And he said he looked up there and didn't see any vehicles in the driveway nowhere. So I don't know, he didn't see anybody. I'm just hoping whoever did this is caught. I hope they find out who did it and I hope they're caught. No arrests have been made and the investigation is ongoing. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.